Good news tonight. It is an original program, and it's yeah. not a rerun. Yeah. You're not going to see the bowling show again. We're all here. You're not going to see lesbian dating game again. <laughs> You're seeing a fresh program. Brand new. With Run DMC. <laughs> Go Holly! Hey, yo! Yeah! Hey, yo! Yo, man, what's up with them Jim, Jim, you come. Yo! You better not throw nothing over here, man. Yo, yo, with that popcorn! This yo, is the up, fourth man? time we've tried yeah, to see man, this movie. Yeah, man, we need to movie. get busy, man. Just behave yourself and don't yo, talk too Bobby loud. Bobby God! Bobby you God! The animals the off! They're barbarians! Oh, my God. Look at them down there. They're uncivilized, them people! I have just as much right to see this picture yo, as they do. Shut up, they'll hear you. We they just yeah, kill, dope, kill you as eat popcorn. You know something? They never have any money, but they always got money to go to the movies and bother people. Just sit quiet. I want to see the movie. Yo, yo, Jay, they go to Godfather, man. Yo, which one is this? What movie is this? The Godfather. I, 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 true. Hey, yo, yo, shut up. Shut up. Yo, man, I got you a punk. Yeah, 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 what, what? Oh! 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 He's gonna miss the movie, G. Quiet, you'll get them mad. Someone just lost man. their life for seven dollars and fifty cents. Look, I want to see this movie, and that guy was unlucky enough to get caught in the crossfire. Everybody just be quiet. Yo, 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 you thought I had a you, right? Oh! Oh, my God, look. Ah! Oh, my. Oh, we're in the middle of an undeclared war I'm with these people. Why, it's oh. down. Why, oh, it's down. Oh, man. Homo ladies. I hate homo ladies. Oh, my oh. lady. Oh. Look, the oh. lesbians. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 my God. Oh. Oh. Yo, yo, we don't shut up. <laughs> yo, man, I put a bullet in that ass. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Yo, man, Hollis bum rush. Yeah, 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 what? 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 Oh. I shoot that ass for you. Enough! He stand up and finally confront you people with your boom boxes and your rap and your loud nonsense! The blood clot women up in you. Ha! Look at I got a bulletproof vest on. I fooled you. I fooled you all. Will Rogers, money for Will Rogers. You Will Rogers. Rogers. You're worse than all of them. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. yo let's get stupid stuff. Yo, 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 let's watch the movie. Man. I hope it ain't too violent. I hope it ain't too violent. Yo, both this is a cool movie. Yo, yo, yo. DMC, I want to thank you boys for just come. I mean, men. Sorry. Yeah, what are you doing, Howard? It's all right. It's all right. We're happy to be here on Plus, the stupid, you know, you dope yeah, show. The, the, stupid dope show. Yeah, stupid dope show. Every night is stupid dope. Here we go. Hey, Gary, I'm on camera. We're on the air. If you don't mind. What a jerk. Do what television a... lately? <laughs> Such an unprofessional show. And won't you show. bring me an apple next? Yeah. You got an apple there, boy? Oh, man. You know, you guys, your hats look beautiful tonight. First of all, I just want to say that to Run DMC, the greatest rap group. They started rap. Didn't you guys we start rap? We, we will not say we started it, but we kind of kicked the Fran Malama for most of the people out there that wasn't up on the Kahootenance. Yeah, but, uh, well... Shouldn't uh, we, we be running <laughs> subtitles? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you know, we need a translator. You guys uh, love all that jive talk, Kahootenance. Let me see your hair. 
Do you show him your hair? Come on, let me see your hair. No curls, no braids. Take off the hat. Look at that. Paid. Yeah, oh, that's nice. And what do you got carved in the side of your head? This is Soul the Soul Train, train line. People all over the Fucking world. Ladder. Let me ask you guys something. I think he did that himself, though. He didn't actually go to a barber. You paid a barber to cut those things on the side of your head? Really? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you got taken. That's stupid fresh. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. But uh, you guys had fun doing that sketch, huh? Yeah, didn't that we? was dope, man. I thought that you guys were good actors. I thought you did a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. we did movies cool. before where we shot people in the face. Yeah, I know. But how you like my dying scene? Is that pretty cool when I was shaking on the floor? You know, it was, it was very great. reminiscent of one of my favorite films. Which film? You'd probably get an Oscar for that. Man. Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> really? Oh, thank movie. you. Yeah. Hey, that's a good movie. I take that as a good movie. Yeah, you guys had a posse with you. A Am crew. I correct? A posse or a crew? Is it a crew or a posse? Posse, posse, posse crew. Because these guys had about 97 guys with them. Yeah. It, was well, like, it, was like, it was like a jungle back there. I felt like it was in Africa, for God's sake. Well, I guys... saw them traveling once, and they each got out of a different bro. car. You yeah. know, and the car was full of people. It was literally like being in Africa. You guys had... And everybody's black with you guys. There's no white people, no white uh, You're lying. You're lying. I didn't see a white man you're with lying. you, people. We have a white guy what with you. Where's Kip at? Where is the whole posse? We have a token white boy. We have a posse right now. I am so upset that I, I forgot my jewelry. I was working all night, but I wish I had on all my fat gold chains. Is that to represent the man, no. the white no, man? In the gold no, chain no. It's, it's, just, it's just like this. You know, a lot of people are scared to wear their chains now, and I'm representing that I'm not scared. And what does the white guy do? <laughs> He's from the mafia. You better stop talking to no, him. No, what like does he that. do? What are you? Are you <laughs> what do I? No, seriously. Now, are you? Is he considered? Are you like a white guy who likes being black? No. Or? Are you no. talk black or you talk white? You talk like normal, I guess. You talk black. Like do, do, do you do you talk black or white? What do you, do? you guys? You guys have a, How do you talk? I like to know. She talks right. beautiful. She said she wanted to be taught some about b-boy vernacular. Uh, now, yeah, I want to Run wait. DMC has a new album, Back from Hell. Back, back from right Hell. Now. now, what does that mean, Back from Hell? Where were you, in Hell? No. What right. do you mean, Back what from it was, Hell? Well, to us, we've been away. We didn't make a record for two years, you right. know? So we call that, like, in Hell, because we was away from the people. We was exactly. away from being Run DMC. The thing is... Run DMC is hotter than ever. You are back from hell. That's your album. We love it. We love it. That's real rap. Give us some points. Give us some points. And may I say something in the street vernacular? Because when you say something is stupid, that means it's... It's it, an adjective. It's an adjective. So you guys are the stupidest guys I know. <laughs> All right. All right? Like I said, I mean, this is definitely a stupid dope show. This is just shows full of stupid dope. With a bunch of stupid, stupid dope that work right over here. <laughs> Biggest stupid dope in the world. Come on. Okay, the stupid dope. What do you mean by Can generic? This show is retarded, man. Let, Let me say something. What a generic break me. What stupid means break? good, right? This is the stupidest hair I ever saw. Okay. I mean it. I mean. We don't want to speak on that hair. It's from one brother to another. That's it. All right, guys. Run DMC. We'll be back right We're out of here. We're all idiots. You know, we've got some good ideas for this show. Coming up in the next couple of weeks, more lesbian dating games. Yeah. Why stop with one? Yeah. Right? It worked once. Yeah. <laughs> do it again. Everyone kept saying, we got such high ratings with the lesbians. What else can we do with lesbians? I said, why do we have to do anything else with them? Let's just do a lesbian dating game. That one didn't actually work, so... Yeah, they didn't actually mate. Hey, good news this week. What? Very good news this week. Marvin Kitman, a reporter, uh, not more than a reporter. A TV columnist. TV critic, Robin. Okay, that's a good word. From New York Newsday. A got that, reputable paper. A very reputable paper, one that's not on strike, that actually gets published. <laughs> and uh, this guy gave us a favorable review, said that lesbian dating game was one of the funniest moments on television. One of the five funniest moments. That's the top five. And he said our interview with Reverend Al Sharpton, another of the top five funniest moments. That's right. And any critic who rewards us on this program do we have a picture? Did we show that picture of him already? We actually have constructed a statue of Marvin Kitman. There it is. And um, isn't that beautiful? And that is just to compliment him and say thank you. You think that's complimentary? Nice package. Can you uh, pan down a little bit? I'd like to use my telestrator well, here. It is very complimentary if you gave him a nice package. Let me just clear this up here. That is nothing to be proud of. Oh. But uh, it's very beautiful. Hey, Jackie's got the same belly button as you. Right there. there you go. Very beautiful. And what's that? What is that? Hey, wait a second. What's this thing over here? Is that a Frisbee? It looks like 
looks like he's carrying two symbols. Discus. Oh, it's a discus. Well, it looked like Robin's diaphragm. Oh. Oh. If only I could see your diaphragm. Too small. How dare you? You know what? Woman is a celebrity. I used to like you guys. Yeah. Hey, anyway, <laughs> let me uh, also tell you that our spokesmodel this week sent us a videotape. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, if women want to send us videotapes, we like that. This is Pamela Raines. What was in her videotape? Oh, you got the video. Thank you, Dan. Well, now I'll know, won't I? How'd you like Dan at the sketch of the, in the uh, beginning of the show? Oh, he was very believable. Yes, very good. <laughs> what he should be doing is ushering at a movie theater. Well, he will be soon. <laughs> anyway, here's the videotape we got. It caught our attention, so uh, I'll let you see it, Robin. Okay. There she is. Now, I take it this is just a girl. She's not an actress or a model. No, I don't know. I think she's just, uh, I think she's a mechanic, actually. Really? Yeah, well, you see her with that car. <laughs> you know, look at that. There she goes. And she, she, like, stood around a car a lot and, like, moved her hair a lot. Uh-huh. And showed us her body and stuff. Then she got she in the car. She sat in the car with sunglasses. Yeah. And then she, like... Ooh. Well, how'd she do that? She huh? just changed outfits. What a little actress. <laughs> she couldn't figure out how to start the car. That was the problem. <laughs> so she just got out of it. Now, is she advertising that the car wants to be on the show? <laughs> hey, don't you kind of... Oh, well, standing on one leg, and now... Ooh, yeah. I think her belly is... Ooh, wait, wait a, a second. Wait a minute, what's this in the woods thing? Well, she had to go to the bathroom during the tape. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to her before the show. She got lost during the taping of the car thing. She's looking for the car <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, this is kind of like a Tarzan and Jane thing, you know what I mean? Is that a real wooded area? Oh, ooh. Uh -oh. Well, she had to go to the bathroom in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Something about standing next to a wall. Oh, what is this? This is on a deck in a chair, I think. Picture yourself on a deck in a chair. <laughs> With, and that's sort of like, you know, the, the sexy chair And there was pose. no sound, just... No sound. So anyway, I'd like to introduce you now to Pamela Raines. <laughs> there she is. Woo! Yeah, you know, you look a lot better in person than you do in... Uh, here, take a seat. Well, Why actually, you... I didn't recognize you without the car. Wow. <laughs> look how beautiful you look. Did you lose weight for this show? Oh, no, I've gained weight. You really have gained really? weight? Really? Because you look good, because I, I thought you had... I thought you had flab... In the picture, and look at you how tight you are. No flab. And you're not a model, a professional, or I'm anything? I'm not a professional model, but I do a little bit on the side. You do? Hobby. Where did yeah. we see you? Did we see you in Vogue or Penthouse or uh, any of the magazines? No, no. Not Where does a hobby big modeling model. get you? Hobby modeling. <laughs> well, what do you mean, hobby modeling? Hobby modeling. It's a right. hobby. You don't ask right. for money. You just go out and model and stuff? Right. Really? More or less. Yeah. Would you she ever just models what? wherever she is. Huh? Would you ever consider bless, breast implants? No, I wouldn't. You would not do that? Not in a million what, years. What, do you think there's something wrong with her? No, no, no. I like them very much, but I know a lot of the young models are going to that. Well, that's probably why I'll never make it big, because I won't do it. You got a lot of cheese in that belly button? Oh. No. No cheese. It's clean. Yeah. Go for it. You ask. You're supposed to ask her. Hey, she smells pretty good, too. Hey, she, she prepared for this show. All right. <laughs> now, are we going to do a commercial with Pamela, since she is a spokesmodel? Are we going to do the aerobics commercial now? We're not doing no. that now. A little bit later on, you're going to come out. We're going to do a commercial. You're going to be an aerobics girl. Right. And I will be the aerobics instructor. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start doing some stuff, and then we'll do some commercials, all right? Sure. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. We're going to be right back. Jackie and Frank Stallone are here. We're going to hang out with them. Robin's got some new stuff. And also, Stutter and John's going to be here with uh, Amelda Marcos. of big breaking stories for you and hey, one of the weird things that happened this past week too is brandon tartikoff went in the hospital and we sent him tons of flowers and stuff i hope you got him brandon brandon's the head programming guy at nbc hey brandon we sent you flowers and stuff don't you want to uh put us on that network we didn't even get a thank you note but that's okay yeah we understand we'll take a show <laughs> yeah we'll just take a spot on your network we are very hot you know hey anyway of it we got a couple of things going on. By the way, a little later in the show, Stutter and John actually met Imelda Marcos. I thought that was an interesting combination when you said Stuttering John and Imelda Marcos. You know, she is free. Yeah, well, he met a whole bunch of people. Leona Helmsley, Imelda Marcos, 
And Amelda, I think, got hot for John. You're really? right. Yeah, yeah I think, uh, hmm. yeah. He, you know, she, he sort of reminds her of Ferdinand, <laughs> the late dictator. Well, anyway, I'm looking forward to that. I don't that. know how she managed to see that. But. Yeah, right. But anyway, what else is going on? Well, you know how it's the beginning of the year, and it's the time when most heads of states or cities have their State of the Union or State of the City speech. And our very own mayor, Mayor Dinkins, gave his State of the City address this week. And I decided to check on the State of the Mayor. You know, the last time he gave a speech, we went along and counted right. how many times he wiped his brow or mopped himself during the speech. And he's still sweating, even though he He's been on the job for a year. I'm telling you something. It's like the sweat of the city address. This guy's sweating. What is he so nervous about? <laughs> you mean he, he doesn't stop sweating? You'd think now he'd calm down in office, but yeah, he sweats. I thought it, he was nervous because it was a new job right. at the beginning. Right. But it continues. Let, let's see if it's getting any better. All right. We have a little review. We have what was going on last year in 1990, what he looked like. Okay. This is 1990. Yes, this is the old sweating. He's mopping his brow. <laughs> and in 1990, we gauged him, and in nine minutes, he mopped himself ten times. Is that a medical condition? That means one time every 54 seconds. Right. Now, this is this year. He starts mopping before he even gets to the podium. And he mop with his hand. All right, that's the first one. And I guess they must hide those things in the podium for him. I saw a cool move. He actually, when the, when the crowd starts applauding and they go to the audience, then he starts mopping. You so. missed a two-handed thing there. Let me see that one. Wait, I want to rewind that one. I missed it. Everybody, let's uh, take a look at that. That was a very cool move. You, now the two, this is from last year, right? Yeah. All right, here comes the two-handed one. Let's see. That's behind the, behind the ear, yeah. the man. Yeah, oh, sweat. he does everything. He's got quite some Look at moves. his eye. Wait a second. Did you see his eye? It gets all full of sweat. All right, see, now he's mopping already. Yeah. <laughs> That's his nose. That's his forehead. Now watch this in a minute. Here we go. Forehead and... Now one oh, hand wait the a other second. hand. <laughs> she had two mops in his head. <laughs> Holy cow. This is a double mopper. This is a hop. So in 1991... In 23, uh, 23 times in 32 minutes for a 65% reduction. So he is improving. You're saying that And this is slow motion, just so you can see technique if you have this problem. You mean, you're telling me he sweats less now? Yes. Look at the guy behind him. He's got to be like P.U., you know? I was like, gee whiz. This is a problem. So anyway, that's the state of the mayor. He is getting better. He runs our city. <laughs> You can stop that, too. All right. Also, Howard, you know, I hate to uh, turn to a serious note. This is sort of a funny show. Robin, it's a Saturday night. We want laughs, okay? <laughs> what do you mean, serious? But, you know, something that we have never taken seriously is the aid situation. Yeah, we tell people not to wear rubbers on this show. <laughs> We're very irresponsible. We admit it. Unfortunately, many, many people are dying. I know. Isn't so, that terrible? But I think we've lost too many people. The fashion industry is being wiped out. The theater industry wiped out. Yeah. We've got to stop this loss of life. Amazingly, our staff lives. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that maybe we could encourage people to practice safe sex by showing you what they have tried to show on Los Angeles television stations. Bunch of freaks. To encourage people to glove up, as they say. Really? Yes. This so is an AIDS thing, huh? This is an AIDS PSA, if you will. Here we go. Whoa! Get out of here. Oh, yeah. You know you're forgetting something? Are you mean this? Whoa! Whoa! You know what I mean. Wait a second. Did she just say, are you forgetting something? And then his head went down. He had disappeared. And I said, yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> he did forget. No. Hey, if I was her, I'd do that, too. My wife will see this and go, why don't you do that? I said, I'm not did interested. Did you forget something, honey? Yeah, I forgot something, all right. <laughs> about nine years ago. Yeah, right. I forgot that the day, about three days after I met you, I forgot that. I'm not doing that. I know her too well. But wait a minute, let's go on. That couldn't be what they meant. Now, how it? come she's not sweating? <laughs> you have a good robber. Yeah. I hate that word. I can think of an uglier word. <laughs> what do you think I've got, AIDS? Well, you could. Oh, that's love to us. Yeah, I'm getting excited. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Or I could. And we wouldn't know. Look. This doesn't feel right anymore. 
Oh yeah, right. Like I'd stop. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. Only only a homosexual <laughs> would stop at that point. You don't think this is gonna work to deter people from First of all, I, I would convince her <laughs> not to wear a rubber. What do you mean he got up out of bed? What, just because he got to wear a rubber? You don't think this is realistic. Oh, anyway. get out of here <laughs> with that. Uh, Liberace would have gotten a rubber and done her. <laughs> what is that? Liberace would have plowed on. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's leaving. <laughs> if you had a face like mine instead of the face you see on your screen right now, you would find a rubber real quick. <laughs> You'd find six rubbers if that's what you wanted. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? There's yeah. got to be a drugstore that's told. Yeah, right, Biff. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Get out of here. Yeah, got it. Well, yeah. they're yeah. trying everything. Who's the guy in that, Dan Foreman? <laughs> <laughs> I'd use a shoe. I would put... Let me tell you something. If a woman... If I was a, with a woman as good-looking as that, I'd put this over my... over my genitalia. I would use this boot, like this. I'd say, sweetheart, you'll love it. I'll kill you, but you'll love it. <laughs> Wouldn't use anything. Well, I'm just trying to do my part to stop AIDS. <laughs> well, we got to take a break. <laughs> excited about tonight's show. We've got, uh, well, Jackie Stallone. She's, of course, the mother of... But now, before she comes out, before Jackie Stallone comes out, with Frank Stallone, her son, mm -hmm. and... Um, we couldn't get the more famous one? No, isn't it incredible? <laughs> I said, Jackie, how about uh, Sylvester? Bring in one of your kids. We had Frank a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> no, 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 you bring Frank. <laughs> but listen, before she comes out, Let's put on our headbands oh, so we okay. look like her. Yeah. Make her feel at home. Yeah. Because she wears wacky headbands and stuff. You know what I'm doing on mine? What? I'm going to put on an antenna. <laughs> oh, there you are. Come on, everybody. Sit down. Kill the conquering hero. Now, let me introduce everybody. Like this, is, this is Jackie Stallone. Right. Everybody has their headbands on. This, of course, is Frank Stallone. Yes. And this is Jackie's boyfriend, Jack. Jack! How do you like that? And we met him in Los Angeles. Right. This is the man that you... I guarantee you... you're going to ask him what color he is. Yeah, what color are you? Watch your show. Yeah, what ethnic group are you? Rainbow. Really? I mean, seriously, you're so red, you could be an Indian, couldn't you? You bet. You guys are a bunch of Arapahoes here. Those How do we look, huh? Now, Frank has got a... You know, Frank is embarrassed by these headbands. He really is. Why is that? No, come on, the headband. You... Well, seriously, just you told me the last time I met you, you picked up Mars on these things, if you tune them the right way. Seriously, Jackie. Yeah. Come on, Frank, you like these? He hates them. No. He hates them, right? Do you think he cuts off his circulation. I don't know why he should be embarrassed since the day he was born I've been wearing them. Oh, really? you really have? So suddenly, should I change because he's famous? It's almost like, like we're it hippies. It's like Grandma Moses. Exactly. Now, this guy, Jack, yeah. is your love Boy, mate. Am I correct? No, he's my... Uh, Gopher. Gopher? <laughs> Gopher. So, you Frank, this is your stepdad in a way, right? I don't think so. Yeah. No. <laughs> They got their, they just borrowed their clothes from Rick James. So. Yeah, it's a fascinating family tree, you know what I'm saying? Because this guy, you know, he's not your father, he's not your dad. Yeah. But is he like a dad to you? Kind of. He gives you advice and no. sits you down? He I does. I never take advice. How would Jackie and I have a platonic friendship? She said uh, if we're compatible, within 20 years we'll be married. I would never consider marriage. You will never marry <laughs> anyone. <laughs> and you would sleep with other men besides Jackie. Reject it again. No. You do not sleep with Jackie? You are celibate, no. as they say? Well, no, let's say he is. He is celibate. You won't do anything for Jack to relieve the pressure inside. We just That's neck my and problem. Tear. Right, so no in other sex. words, you are not lovers, you are just friends. We hold hands. All right, now. But she does sleep with other people. Right. No, oh, I Robin, don't. your headband is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Let me just I say like something. It. Yes, no, now. My kids, my kids, I made an oath of my kids. I'd only go with impotent men. How much? Now, now what's with thank Frank? You. Frank, <laughs> Frank will not get married. You won't, you, no you're more, not no into your boys getting me. married. You th your boys, for some reason, think they're too good for any women. Isn't that true? I think they think they are. Yeah. Yeah. I know Frank, Frank they are, too. I'll tell you that much. The kind of women they bring around. Let me tell you something. The women they bring around, they are too good for them. They really are. Because Bridget Nielsen, you hate 
ratings. They were trash. trash. Well, if I thought the kind of girls my kids bring around, if I thought they were going to have trash like this, I'd never educated them. Really? They just go after trashy women I'd who sleep with them? I'd have sent them to a brothel. It shows you how they, bad we are. She educated us and we still picked those girls. Are they, what are they they're like common whores? <laughs> Uh, not even, con I'd say step, I don't even think they can make it as a whore. Really? <laughs> Unbelievable. I think they have to give it away. Really? Well, there goes really my love do. life. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was Sly's latest girlfriend, don't you like her? Uh, I don't want to comment. No, she's What are you nice. coaching her for? No, she is nice. She doesn't think she's wonderful. Frank, you think she's well, wonderful. Well, let me just say, for a truck driver, she'd be fine. But damn it, for a guy who makes a hundred million a year and three college degrees, I think he could do better. Oh. That's my opinion. Oh, oh, man. Well, I'm glad you, know you got that off your chest. Nobody I pleases sure you. Thanks. Nobody pleases you. Really, it's well, impossible. Bring me around someone that pleases Who would me? please you for your someone son? Someone like you. Yeah, I would please you. Want to marry you? Yeah. Come here, Frank. Oh, when do no. you marry me? <laughs> no. What do you mean, someone like me? You are not wearing a bra. I certainly am. Oh, That's you are. Me. I'm sorry for looking at your mom that way, but your mom is attractive. What can I say? She is an attractive woman. She's a very good looking uh, woman. I would pick someone like you for my daughter. You would pick someone like me for, for my, my sons? Yeah. I think my kids should avoid trashy girls. Oh, okay. You do? Yeah. I think the girls I have are nice. Jackie Stallone only thinks the good, the good enough women for Frank and Sly are Diane Sawyer, yeah. Barbara, Walters. Barbara Walters, and who was the other one? Princess Di. Because really, Dye. I think she'd All play on the side. Taken, don't you understand that <laughs> Frank really. and Sly want women who will just have sex with them? Don't you Don't you see that guys just want to <laughs> relieve themselves? Look at this guy over here. This guy, Jack. <laughs> I'm chomping at the bit. Now, you've written this book. Yes. And, and you're in it. This is star power. This is about, you, you tell your uh, fortune from this. Uh -huh. Well, you, can you tell have a your prediction fortune. for uh, the future? I have more written down for you. Now, how do you get these powers? I went to school for 17 years. You're saying that anybody can go to school and get the powers to predict the future? Not the power, the knowledge. Really? Well, I went to well. school for 17 years and I got a high school diploma. She got the knowledge? Yeah. And well, no. she's got a book and you don't. No, no. I went to astrology school for oh, 17 I... years. Frank, you can't get your mother under control? <laughs> I mean, really, what is the deal? I don't you know. Every girl control? I meet, I'm so used to because I grew up with astrology all the time. He's it a good was astrologer. A, it, it was like a bad habit. Every girl I'd see is like, stuff. what is your sign? I well, don't then, believe in it. Well, I don't then, believe I had a nice prediction for you. I'll take it back. No, no, no. Go ahead. What is the prediction? <laughs> I did. Basically, your show was up for renewal on a th an eclipse. Yeah. And being that you're a Capricorn, your show will be renewed and be much bigger and better. That's not good. Whoa. Well, I can't <laughs> write it. <laughs> no, and bigger, Howard, bigger. And Howard, Howard the way say it. it. You heard it here. I mean, I could have told you the opposite because I do TV shows for, for renewal contracts. Well, tell us on something bad that's going to happen to somebody. Tell us something bad that's going to happen. Well, such as what? I mean, Circulation's going to cut off in your head in I about tell you, my head's going to fall off in this headband. I don't like to say bad things. Now, I read the book. And I predict that Frank will get crabs this year. Uh, Frank, oh, you want to hear a story about crabs? Can I tell it? No. Go ahead. Oh, oh, no. Why? I never ate crabs. Well, yeah. just a minute. You did never, so what? once. Mom, I used to go crabbing in the no, Chesapeake no. Bay. I, I never had crabs. One never day, crabs. Frank, he was about 15 years old, and suddenly <laughs> we crazy. lived in Philadelphia. Oh, he'll scream. And he had to shave all his No, this girl <laughs> sat on his lap. A girl sat on his and lap. And he could swear she gave him crabs. And what do you think he did? He doesn't know whether she did or not. She went, he went to her father's house and knocked on the door and said, your daughter gave me crabs and wanted the father to pay for a medical physical to Dr. Bedford. Are you serious? I you, know it. you got to be proud of your boys. <laughs> you got to be. you got to be proud. You I really mean, that do. is, that's probably the only case of like someone sitting on your lap fully clothed and giving you crabs. How could that happen? Now, yeah. now tell me some more predictions from, the, you know, you're, you're doing this astrology. You have all predictions right, I about... I have it all written down. All right. I was, one, I was in Russia two months ago. And I had to do the predictions for the state of Russia, the economy and Gorbachev's future. So I said, now, we how do you get over to Russia? I mean, who, who pays for you to come over to Russia and do these predictions? I went over as a tourist and by accident or coincidence or destiny, my dream was to meet the Gorbachevs. I didn't think I stood a prayer and that was going to stop me from going to Russia. But I found an interpreter who happened to be a friend of an interpreter of Gorbachev's who gave Risa my book. And by giving her my book... You met with Risa? Both of them. I sat. You, you sat really? with Gorbachev? I spent 10 days with them in their villa. You mean to tell me those, those two maniacs who run Russia they're were... not maniacs. They're, they're both were, lawyers. They're very smart and They very were reading fine. the book and then they contacted you and said, I must meet with you? They sent their KGB people to my hotel and after the KGB sent, carried me, not carried me, took a limo about 50 miles into the country and really checked me out. Jack, is this, this is true? You well, I was you with them. Let me tell you something. Yeah. 
I was Frank, on, do you believe this? You struggle well, along me, and your mother goes to Russia? It was on. Villain? It was no. on <laughs> Russian TV. I was on three times at a, a 30 million population. It was so good they satellited into BBC in London. Yeah. And basically after that, I I couldn't walk the streets in Russia. I was mobbed. And at the same time, you had Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, who's this? Ball-headed fellow, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Yeah. And the, ball-headed fellow. They're all running around. No one cared about them. When you met Gorbachev, did you offer him a headband to cover the stain on no. his head? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? But I'll tell you something. It's yeah. in the news, and someone's going to show me pictures. All the Russian women are running around headbands. They can't afford hats and all, but they have a headband Do on. Do you know they assigned eight KGB bodyguards for Jackie? All, all the people were coming up want to... I think the headbands are wrapped too tight on both of you. I think I'm not kidding around about this, and you guys I know that. I was wondering if you'd donate that to Risa. <laughs> I'm telling you, I like it. Wear it. Now, let's get this straight. Howard, you look up. fantastic God. with that headband. You two guys, Don't take you, it off. You two guys do not make love to one another. Well, what do you call making love? What's your definition? We neck and pet, but we you, don't make love. You guys have never had sexual intercourse. What do you Not call yet, I'm waiting. Sexual, 20 what do I call years sexual from now. Intercourse? A, man, a man and a woman joining together in Is that unison. What you call it? Would you say you, you two don't? I don't understand, Jack, what your role in all I'm this I'm anticipating 20 years from now we will do it. Let's she call promised. Sylvester. Come on, dial him up. Well, Frank, I don't know you call. Oh, you, what do you mean? What I don't. Are you, why are you guys scared of Sylvester? I'm not I don't. I was so afraid of this no, guy. No, 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 no. I really Jackie, why are you afraid of Sylvester? I'm afraid. Yeah, call his house. I don't I don't have Dial nine. What One. number? I don't know. Well, you they dial the number. I they don't know his number. I, I you swear can't. I don't know. You don't know Sylvester's head. number. Not off, off the top of my head. head. And Jackie can't summon it up through her headband? Well, yeah. my... <laughs> Jackie, here, borrow my antenna. <laughs> yeah. And you'll get Maybe it into the headband. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we call the police department and have them call him? <laughs> I give up on you guys. It's like, it's like Roach Hotel. It's like, what is this? <laughs> you, look, you know, you look like a little That's bit like, very nice. like Connie Francis from Uranus with all of that. Oh, I can't stand to look like her. You hate her. I hate her looks. You hate Connie Francis. I really don't like her. You don't like anybody in show business, do you? No, no, I'll tell you why I don't like her. When she was a big star, my kids, we lived in Philadelphia, and she made a personal appearance, and my kids said, Mommy, could we see Connie Francis now? So I said, Oh, sure, Mommy, I'll see that you see Connie Francis. Now, suddenly, Connie, I was just Jacqueline Stallone, Miss Housewife, nobody. Right. So I take these two little kids to the hotel door at the Sheraton, and I bang on the door, and they're standing here like this, and so Miss Francis comes to the door, and she opens the door, and says, Miss Francis, my kids, I promise that they can say hello to you. She looked at me and said, How dare you! Really? And slammed the door in the face. And that was a terrible trauma. Can and you I blame her, like though? That's how yeah. she lost no. her voice. There was a woman screaming at Jackie. And I, I mean, come on. And I think basically this is but why these kids, every time someone wants an autograph or a picture, they're there. I think it left them such a shock. Really? And made me look, I was humiliated. Today, That's a beautiful story. Open the door. Frank, let me uh, give your credentials, too. Now, Frank, of course, is touring the country. He will be appearing in Hudson Hawk with Bruce Willis and Danny Aiello. I only hope there's a big hit. And then Sylvester will be coming to him for money. I would love that. And this will be coming out in May, right, Frank? Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful movie. Sylvester ever give you, like, millions of dollars? Does he ever lay any money on his mother? No. Seriously. He, he gave will not me a give basket you. of cookies for Christmas. And he does not give you any money? I don't he, all of his millions. All of his millions that he will not give He's you money? He's sitting on it. Really? Yeah. He Don't you, does that bother you a little poor. bit? No. He lives in total fear that he's going to be poor and starve to death, so I think he sits on it. Well, that's very nice. A mother well, would be out there. Kids feel this way. Unfortunately, you now Frank have to be with... Frank doesn't give you any money either, but he Frank doesn't have doesn't, any. Frank doesn't have money to give you, so right? <laughs> Frank, Frank, you got your more money, right? Yeah. Sure. You good? Oh, yeah, definitely. We got to go. Jackie Stallone, star power. Robin, we're back, and uh, it's a Saturday night. We love being here. And by the way, we're not going to be here in uh, next week. I think there's a telethon. A telethon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did hear about this. Yeah. CP or something? Yeah, can't they, like, cancel the telethon for an hour and let us come back on? Hey, what do we care? It'll be a nice rest for us. CP sure. telethon. But, uh, hey, look who's here. Stuttering John. We're letting him back on the show. All right. We're having him back on the show because he stutters so good. We sent him over to the big Cindy and Joey Adams birthday bash. Well, it was Joey's 80th birthday party. Yeah, right. Yeah. Big, and by the way, that's a real important event in New York. 
the big Joey Adams annual birthday bash. So many people are into him. Well, they changed street names and everything for That's that. That's right. Joey was 80 for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knew what was happening, actually. Did he look like he knew what was happening? But you weren't even allowed inside, I right? Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get to see Joey. Habada, 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 habada. So you didn't get to see Joey, but no. you got to see many celebrities. Yeah. Which is what we're going to see tonight. Yep. Okay. Got the premise, Robin. I think I understand what's supposed to happen. All He's right. standing outside. Yeah, we're standing All right. Uh, thanks, man. Here we go. Tony, can I ask you questions for yeah, the Howard, sure. this is for the Howard Stern show tape the broadcast? Oh, great. Hi, um, who do you think will die first? Bob Hope, Milton Berle, George Burns, or uh, Joey Adams? I hear that Bob Hope's not going to die until he finds out who Brooke Shields is going to marry. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Well, should ugly people be allowed to have children? So, well, it's all the way you look at it. If, if you, uh, does, it bother, uh, does it bother you when people talk to you while you're on the ball? I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. Does it bother you when people talk to you while you're on the ball? Well, no one talks to me when that happens. No? No. All right. Uh, Thanks pleasure. a lot, Tiny. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Yeah, let him call me whatever you want. No problem. Can I ask you a question? Leona, this is for the Howard Stern Show. Take the broadcast. <laughs> oh, worst nightmare. Does it bother you when people talk to you when you're on the ball, Leona? No. no. I saw her now. That's a good thing you ever did sexually. She'd rather go to jail and talk to John. <laughs> She'd rather be in jail. Isn't it nice? Two entertainment giants under one roof, Leona and John. <laughs> I can't remember. There have been so many things. How can I choose? Well, let me get back on yeah, that. Yeah, we missed that question. Yeah, we don't want to miss that one. That's the wildest thing you ever did sexually. I can't remember. There have been so many things. How can I choose? Have you ever gone to the bathroom in a public pool as an adult? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you... Who, who... <laughs> hey, man, what? Oh, man. Uh... Hey, well, let me... Uh... <laughs> I got the guy in the Whoa. <laughs> hey, he's got to be happy. <laughs> When you got a fox like her. He's passing wind. <laughs> he is not passing wind, John. John, leave the jokes to me, all right? Be quiet. John, you were passing wind. Let's get back. Bring Joey. My love and friendship and undying devotion. But no sexual tricks. <laughs> this is the Howard Stern show. Yeah. yeah. You like? He you never like did him? nothing for me, so why should I knock my? Oh, he's, oh, he's a big fan of yours. He is a big yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll help him out. What's, he's, what's on your mind? Were you surprised on that Johnny Carson beat his wife? I wouldn't even discuss that. That's not my business. Is the body? I'm not his attorney, and I'm not his judge, and I'm not your lawyer. And why does Why does Jackie Mason travel with a lawyer at all times? He never knows when he's going to get into trouble. What is going on there? I mean, wait, is he going to say something? And a divorce lawyer at that. That's Raul Felder. It's unbelievable. Oh, by the way, I'm not supposed to uh, do the show with my jacket off. Oh, really? Because you they don't They say my like... shoulders and breast area aren't built up enough. So. You don't look like a man? Yeah, hey, I don't look like a man. That's, I've been actually told by our executive producer not to expose these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me take a quick break here. We'll come back with more of the Joey Adams birthday bash right after these words. been informed our spokesmodel is more muscular than me and uh hey what can i tell you i'm not a muscular macho Maybe man she should have worked you out do you find me attractive i do yeah you really do yeah you think that i'm attractive i think you are yes but i've been looking at you a long time yeah but i think you're attractive <laughs> i do and you've been looking at me a long time so there you go. i guess we've grown on each other <laughs> oh yeah like that'll happen robin and i don't kiss we're very asexual with one another one okay, time well, once in a while, we kiss on the cheek. One time, Robin was very sexual with me. What's we were alone in my office where I work. <laughs> You're going to tell this story. Yeah. And um, <laughs> Robin had spilled something on her dress, so she was just standing there in panties and bra. Yeah, I took my dress off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I sort of felt like, you know, and her my legs, brother. And you had your legs akimbo on my desk. <laughs> I sat up on the desk with the desk. Right, on the desk. <laughs> And you were with, sitting there. With my legs akimbo, yes. She's, she's nervous because I'm telling this story. So she's I can't bra. believe this is the first time we've ever revealed this. So then uh, it was unbelievable. She, um, <laughs> what did she, I do next? She, I don't remember. She was wet from the, from the stuff. From the stuff I spilled on myself. So she starts rubbing against me to dry herself off, and I, she achieved orgasm. <laughs> first time. Right. Now, the first time in her life, <laughs> ever. All right, let me... Uh, so I'm grateful to you. That's a little story. We have a lot of prisoners watching us. <laughs> so, guys, you can put your pants back on now, okay? I'm done. Right, no problem. <laughs> I, of course, never climax during the session. 
Only Robin achieved orgasm. And it's one of the great disappointments of my life. You bet. <laughs> well, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get back to the big, important Joey Adams story. <laughs> my head still hurts from the Jackie Stallone interview. <laughs> now, you were with Jackie Mason when we left. Yeah. And I'm not your lawyer, and I don't think it's proper for me to come. Does it bother you? Who it is? I'm Melda Marker. I'm Melda Marker. Uh, all right. And the whole crowd raises over. Look at this. Whoa. How did she get off? Oh, that was me. Hi, I'm Melda. Melda. Oh, look at John. Hi. Go. Melda, can I ask you questions for the Howard Stern Show? Tape the broadcast. Who's a lawyer? Who's a lawyer together? Uh, Melda, can I ask you questions for the Howard Stern Show? Tape the broadcast. Does it bother you when people speak to you while you're on the bowl? <laughs> Melda, Marcos, Melda, love you. Beautiful. Melda, Melda. Sounds still there. Oh, yeah. You. Hey. Melda, what happened there, John? Some guy told me to get, you know, you know, get out of the way, you joker and stuff. So I was saying to me. Oh, like he had more important yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, oh, he has yeah. important questions yeah. for Melda. And what's all those hand signals? <laughs> you know? Imagine all of those shoes and not one shoe around to hit John over the head with. <laughs> Let's get back to the action, Robin. Amelda, do you think that do you think that ugly people sh should be allowed to have children? Amelda, right here, please. Look, he's consulting the papers. Amelda, if you pass gas at home in front of others, do you blame the family dog? <laughs> This was worse than the trial. Do you think that... Come on, come on, come on. Mel, do you think that... Do you think that... <laughs> does it bother you when, like, people... Hold it a second. Oh, that's too funny. I think that's worth seeing again. Yes, you? definitely. I need an instant replay. Hey, Amelda, welcome to America. <laughs> Your worst nightmare, the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> Melda, if you pass gas at home in front of others, do you blame the family dog? <laughs> <laughs> Look at John. Do you think that she... Do you think that... Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Melda, do you think that... Do you think that... Does it bother you when, when like, people talk to you while you're on the bowl? No, not at all. I always hope Howard will call then. But do you, to see you. Do you think that ugly people should have children? I don't think ugly people should have children, no. I told your mother that. Hi, <laughs> Neil. Uh, you know, can I ask you a question? Yeah. This is, uh, 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 just for the Howard Stern <laughs> Show, tape the broadcast. What did you do with, with the money? I don't know what you're talking about. The money that your mom gave you for singing lessons. I never took it? singing lessons. Can I ask you a question? Bass, everybody else answer me. That's right behind you, please. Before you go in, one Come on, Bass. Right there. Just one question. Oh, my other who, who do you think is going to die, die first, George Burns or Joey Adams? It's a tie. Thanks, Whoa. You look one. Hey, you think she's psychic like Jackie Stone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, she is a Miss America. She remained composed in the interview section of the uh, contest. Really, you know, that's what's so great about Miss America. <laughs> they all know how to retain their composure. <laughs> Well, that is exciting. Is there any more on this? I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm I, I don't Calm know. down. <laughs> Let's get back to the action. Football tonight. Uh, would you propose nude for a million dollars? No. What's the wildest thing that you've ever done sexually? I, could, I couldn't say it on TV. Oh, come on. Look at this woman. All dolled up. Sydney Biddle Barrows. Why is she not in jail? If I was a whore master, if I had a bunch of hookers working for me, oh, and I treat them nice. I pay their insurance. I don't even get to run around and parties. Let me put my jacket on. <laughs> I look like a woman. You look like a crazy woman. I look like a crazy woman. <laughs> a common woman. Now I look more masculine in my motorcycle jacket, don't I? Who is this Sydney Biddle Barrows to be running around at parties? In real fur. A common whoremaster. <laughs> well, really, I mean, didn't she, wasn't she a whoremaster? That's what I understand, yeah. She called it an escort service, but they were doing it. Makes me nuts. <laughs> Let's get back to the action. Whoa. Do you have a quota? A black guy? <laughs> hey, wait, I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right.
Okay, we're not, we haven't done it yet. Sitting right in front. Who's that guy? Hang on, hang on. Do you have a quota? A what? Do you have a quota? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, like 50 cents? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Liz, how you doing? How are you? Can I ask you a question? No. Uh, <laughs> no, she's we had it with you. you. <laughs> we remember your last interview with Liz <laughs> Smith. Hey, nice jacket. <laughs> Couldn't wait to eat. Yeah. Animal died. She was on her way to the buffet, Liz Smith, and did not want to be interrupted under any circumstances until she had eaten everything in sight. The last time she was she had eaten was in the car on right. the way there. Yeah, they don't feed her at Live at Five, so she was pretty hungry. Although she did eat the leopard that you see there. That coat was actually eaten by that her before. There had to be two or three leopards. Yeah, I believe so. They killed like seven leopards just so, so she could run around like that. Gee, is she, wait, wait, she looked at that tr coat and said, if I put this on, I'll be attractive? <laughs> hey, Regis, oh, there he is. Well, this is for the Howard Stern Show, tape yeah. broadcast. Oh, hey, it's your question, Regis. Regis, Regis, only just one question. Come on, man. I came all the way here, Regis. So did he. Donald, hi, can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah. This is for the Howard Stern Show, tape the broadcast. He's a great guy. I listen to him all the time. He really is. Did you ever put a cool. ball in your butt cheeks? Hold it a second. I, I I talked over that. I apologize. Wait a minute. I gotta hear what he's saying. The guy likes us. What do you do? Oh, Regis. Like he's some he, he's some big deal. King Regis, King of New York. I came over here, Regis. Hey, Donald. Hi. Can I ask you a question? Oh yeah. This is for the Howard Stern Show. Tape the broadcast. He's a great guy. I listen to him all the time. He really is. You ever put a marshmallow in your butt cheeks? To benefit world hunger, Donald. Say hello to Howard. I will. Look, could you just answer one question for me, Donald? It'll really make my day. Donald, what? Turn up in here. Donald, yeah. Get back in here. Get back in here. Donald, just one question. Listen, Donald. Does it bother you when people talk to you while you're on the ball, Donald? Oh. Yeah. Look at that. I well, think that's it. I guess. Uh, I guess you did a good job. Thanks. That Thanks. was intense. Thanks. Intense. Thank you. Standing ovation. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Imelda had to be the greatest thing. Though. You bet. Imelda oh. was good. Oh. You think well, she understood me? Oh. Hey, I'm trying to sign oh. off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do I look like, Dick Cavett? What is this? What is this? Oh, right. Oh, a birthday. Uh, uh, well, isn't that attractive? Now, I guess the same guy who made the mo Ooh, look at this. What the heck is going on? Wait a second. Is that what you've always wanted, Howard? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, how, how thrilling. <laughs> that was the most erotic. Well, thank you to our spokesmodel, Pamela Rain. Yes. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Man. My birthday. Gee, I'm really, I'm really behaving like a 37-year-old tonight. Aren't I? <laughs> Don't tell my children I work here. I, I won't tell them either. Listen, we have to leave. Thanks, everybody. We won't be back next week, but the week after with a, an original episode. All right. See ya. <laughs> thanks to Sam Ash for all the musical instruments, and thanks to Mazer's Bakery and Linders for the sculptured cake. The night's got a whole new beat. There's music and dancing on The Party Machine with Nia Peoples. Weeknights at midnight, right after the Arsenio Hall Show. And tonight at 6, higher education sinks to an all-time low with John Belushi in Animal House, right here on L.A.'s very independent Channel 13. Double